With the perfect combination of agility, armor, and firepower, today's ship, Mackensen, makes for an ideal brawler for playing at Tier 6. Okay, so here we are in game, and we are in a, well, it is an entirely tier 6 game here, with a carrier and two submarines, so certainly going to be quite interesting with what we go against. Now, the build is currently on screen at the moment with a 17 point commander, so that gives you an idea of what we're playing with here, but I would like another 4 points to get close quarters combat, but I'll talk about that later on, and we'll start off talking about the ship whilst we try and get into position to start taking on A, and we're also going with a is either the dish, which is going to be quite nice, so we're going to have a lot of secondary ships here. Now, I'm going to compare this thing and cover the ship, really compare it to Bayern, because this is going, well at least when it comes out of early access, is going to be tier 6 on the tech tree, which is the same as Bayern. So we're going to compare it to that as, that's a very good Paris tool, and it's alright, what are we... Nah, they're not going for us, that's fine. So, on paper, I've got to say, Bayern does look significantly better than Mackensen in most aspects, but I think there are a few things that make Mackensen a better ship in general, just mainly for the agility and a few other things which we will discuss now. So I'll start off comparing and go through the bad points first, just so you know what the differences are. So to begin with, the armor belt here is only 300mm on Mackensen, whereas on Bayern that is 350mm, so it's, it's a lot easier to hurt that, and at the same time you do have the same number of guns, but on Bayern, you've got 380mm, whereas Mackensen only has 350mm, so there's a little less potential to do damage there as well. Now, the last thing here, which is somewhat bad, and considering it is really a close quarters brawler, is the secondaries are a little bit subpar compared to Bayern as well. The high caliber ones, you have got 10 single 150 mils, which is the same as Bayern, and I'd argue are probably the most important ones out of the two, so it's not so much of an issue that. The small caliber are, they are, yeah, they're not as good as Bayern. So, for example, on Bayern you have got six double 105 millimeters, whereas on Mackensen you've only got eight single 88. So you've both got less and lower caliber, which isn't really all that good. And we are just getting, well, we're not getting targeted at the moment. It looks like the Fuso is getting the pleasure of that instead. And something is currently opening fire on us, but hopefully now we're not spotted. That should. Finish? No, we are still spotted by something, and uh, of course they'd get a fire. Now, that's that's the bad points about this ship compared to Bayern, but now we are going to talk about the good points, which, please don't set another fire, is the actual speed of it. So, Bayern, when you go with a Sierra Mike signal, you get 26.2 knots maximum speed, whereas in McKenson you get 29.4, which I think is pretty much ideal, because... Mackensen is really best suited for close quarters engagements and is something you you really want to be doing because you don't want to be firing at ranges. The inaccuracies of the guns really do make this not the most fun to go in because, so I mean this shot here it's probably going to prove me wrong and give me really good shell grouping, but the guns have got a Sigma of 1.6 and yeah, okay, we've got a ricochet there and to be fair that was also an angle of Mackensen. But what I'm trying to get at is you want to be at close quarters where you really won't get too many issues because of that low sigma value, but at the same time, once you do get into close quarters combat, that is where this ship really excels. And I'm actually thinking, instead of going for a concealment skill as the final four skills on this, I'm actually going to go for close quarters combat because another good thing is the guns have got a reload of 27 seconds, and if you have close quarters combat active whilst on a secondary build, it's also that's a very juicy looking Nuremberg, is you'll get a Nice 10% reload, and ah, it's a shame they, they got knocked out so early, because we probably could have got a really nice amount of damage there, but that was a 6,000 damage Citadel. But, so you do have a really good top speed there, so you're able to get into these close quarters quite easily, and at the same time you've got a pretty decent concealment range as well, 12.8 base. Well, I don't think it's base actually, because I do have the camo on, and we're just going to see if we can teach his Pensacola a lesson as well, and hopefully we get some good grouping here, and they're looking good, but uh, he is turning in as well, so maybe not. Okay, well, we got a Citadel, so that's certainly quite nice, but the other thing as well, which is quite good, is you do have some consumables, and one of them is the Hydroacoustic Search, which which does make this very, well, it's, it's a very useful skill to have, because it means that you can't really get snuck up on, and 
I've, I've been saved quite a few times by this, so it's definitely just a nice addition. And the final thing I want to talk about is actually the rear turret, which is in fact 360 degrees. Now, the reason why this is so good, because this is a close quarters vessel where you want to be getting into brawling engagements in this, this is really useful. As you can see here, I've just turned my guns to bear the other side, and pretty much instantly I've got all three guns ready to fire. I mean, I've not got anything currently that I can fire at, but let's say I needed to just switch my guns around like that, then this makes it really useful because you have got six effective guns compared to, say, two if you're in a buy-in, or most ships that have got this four turret configuration, so that's something that just really... It's, it's, it's a nice little touch as well that does add to it, but... I mean, that's enough really talking about the ship. I mean, we are still in the game here, and hopefully we can bag ourselves another kill here, so get those shots going. Maybe... Oh, wow, that's a shame. Well, let's just get our other guns to bear and get the hopeful... Wow, okay, yes. So that right there is the one shortcoming of this ship, but it's not something that's unique to the Mackensen, as that's something you do get through, well, pretty much all... German battleships is they do have a pretty terrible Sigma, so you do have pretty inaccurate guns, especially at range, but that was very close quarters and I still only managed to get a single hit, which was an overpenetration. But speaking of which, we are actually about to get into... I'm actually going to drop a heal here because I may need it going against two battleships here, but we do have the support of the on air and hopefully the fire dish, how are they doing over... Ooh, they are not doing too well. Now, the Queen Elizabeth is actually reversing which is quite good so we should be able to get a decent hit on them here and I'm going to slow down real quick. Hopefully we can get a very big chunk of damage on them. So I'm going to aim just a little bit above the arm belt maybe get some damage in. Yep 6,000 damage I am quite happy with that and okay here comes the Mackenton. So this is probably where the close quarters combat would come in really useful here but we are going to angle in because Ooh. Please. Okay, we are just angled enough. That is perfect. So hopefully we should be able to get a really nice hit on the side of this McKenson. But they are turning. So yeah, I think if I did have close quarters combat, I would be able to do a significantly higher amount of damage. Now we are going to start pushing forward here and try and absorb some fire whilst the Gallison is going for a bit of a... Actually, yeah, they're probably going to be able to get some torpedoes off here. So they're going for a nice maneuver. I'm actually going to drop a Hydro just in case that submarine decides to go for us. And can we can we confirm the kill? Okay, that's fine. We didn't confirm the kill, but we did manage to do a very nice chunk of damage and got a Citadel on the enemy McKenton. So I'd say that is pretty perfect. Now, hopefully we can get these torpedoes to hit us before our... Yeah, there we go, before our damage control comes off cooldown. We are still being targeted by a torpedo plane, so I'm going to ask for some AA support. So I've got to say, this thing is absolutely perfectly suited for these sort of engagements when you're going to be going sort of close quarters but when it is more at range you are you are going to struggle I'll be honest so you are going to want to try and close the gap as fast as possible now we are taking a uh, nasty chunk of damage here so I'm going to try and heal and stay alive but that is the one problem we are being focused on by the ranger and the anti-air is I mean it's okay it, it it does the job but as you can see it didn't really pose too much of a threat against us, well, against the enemy planes that were just going against us then. Now, we do still have the enemy submarine over here, so I'm going to start going this way, but I'm going to try and stick to this Galison Air just to get a little bit of anti-air, and actually, what I'm going to try and do is, since they are using HE bombs, I'm going to give them sort of a wide target like this, so they hopefully, hopefully miss. I mean, if not, we do still have four of these damage control teams, and that is why I have gone for one of the four-point skills, so I can get the additional consumables, because that's something, well... Quite frankly, I, I think you do need, because those do run out quite quickly. Even if you are quite conscientious, because, I mean, this game I've only used I've only used one of them. But even so, I do think it's it's something that you really need to have, and plus you run out of repair parties rather quickly. Now, unfortunately, the Ranger is coming in again, so I'm going to try and try and give them a bad, bad angle to attack from, and maybe they get knocked out. Come on. Oh, that is a shame. Okay, good. They didn't actually score any hits, so that is quite nice. Now, they do have... The enemies do have two capture points here, which isn't too bad because, honestly, I quite like these games because if you start winning to this extent, because we do have a we do have a nice advantage here. I mean, well, technically it's only a one ship advantage, but I don't like having steamroll games because, in my opinion, they just end too fast, and that just 
doesn't really make things too fun because it's like, oh, okay, great, we've we've won way too quickly and they don't get the chance to play the battle all the way up to the end. But we do still have. Sorry, right, I have a frog on my monitor. Uh, there we go. So we still have nine minutes left of this game, so we should be okay. And could I could I please have some AA support, please? If you could uh, kindly provide that, I would be very grateful. Now I'm going to try and. Okay, uh, maybe we can get past this island in time and maybe get a nice hit on the Makarov. Okay, only two over penetrations. I'm going to wait for these the Ranger to drop their torpedoes first and then activate my priority sector. Oh, no, 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 we've overturned. Okay, good, 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 that's fine, that's fine. So they have thankfully missed that there and maybe we can get another kill. Yeah, they do only have 4,000 HP, so... Hey, hopefully we get some get some lucky shells here, and oh, I think we're going to be able to confirm them. You know what? I'm going to stop talking. <laughs> that looked like a very easy kill to confirm that, and not one of our eight shells hit. So, as I say, that's uh, that is certainly one of the shortcomings of this ship. We do have a single power party left, and is it worth? I was about to say, is it worth firing? But no, they have just been knocked out. And speaking of which, we do now have a. Submarine going for us, so I'm going to drop this where they were somewhat last spotted, which I'm going to guess they are somewhere around here, and what do we have coming over? Okay, we do have rocket planes. I'm going to... Yeah, I'm going to repair just to remove the lock, and then at this point I'm going to start turning away because I don't particularly... Ooh, wow, that's, that was a nasty chunk. I'm assuming that was from the enemy Bayern. Oh, I don't really want to be taking damage from them, so I'm going to start kiting away because there's, there's no need to overextend here, and... Yeah, a single, a single penetration, not all that good. So I'm going to wait for some support from our Fuso because they do have significantly more HP. So I'm turning around and I'm going to let them absorb some of the damage. Now the Ranger is going for us here and I'm really hoping they don't get a fire. Okay, they didn't get a fire, so that's good. And the Bayern does appear to be behind line as well. So we are we are pretty safe from any further, further hits. Now, 16,000 HP isn't the most amount. If we go down to... Well, if we take another decent hit, then I'll use the last repair party, but I, I do want to save that until we really need it. Now, there is still the risk of that submarine there, which I am I am quite concerned about. So I'm going to try and keep my distance for now, but... It seems we've got two caps. Ah, there we go. Perfect. So, they are there. I think we might be able to get a hit there because they don't appear to be moving. So if we can, ooh, that was close. We may be able to confirm a kill there if we can. If we can get some depth charges on them. Two, one. They only had about three thousand HP, so there is a real possibility we could kill them. No, we only got a single target hit there. That's that is unfortunate, but they are going to be very, very wounded now. So hopefully the Gallus on air is going to be able to get a hit and actually hello that is an enemy Bayern they are currently aiming at well either me or the Fuso so I'm gonna aim just there because they're not gonna be doing 30 knots they're gonna be doing a little bit under actually I think I might have underestimated no nope, that's okay I mean 4,000 damage it's not honestly it's not great but it's not terrible either so I'm quite happy with that now if I can just get my guns to bear over this McKenson hopefully I can Yoink a kill. Actually, no, I don't think I'm going to be able to yoink that, am I? No, that's fine. Okay, we're going to just stay in the central camp, stop them from getting getting anything, really, and... Actually, from the looks of things, uh, yeah, okay, the submarine has been knocked out, which is quite good. Now, if this buy-in can slow down, that would be quite nice, because I can then try and get a hit on them. And I'm, I'm actually going to pop my repair party as well, because there's no need to hold that off now, and there's no need to really risk dying. It does appear like they have... Actually, they're pretty much stationary there, which is quite nice. I'm going to try and get into secondary range and get those those firing off and just hope that they don't have a full secondary build. But if they do, then that's that's it. So we'll just uh, it'll just be a, really a fact of the Battle of Attrition. And the Fuso is currently garnering their attention, so hopefully they fire at them instead. But they are keeping a very, very nice chunky broadside, so we are going to be able to take advantage of that. As well as that, this is where the top speed comes in as well, because we can now get to this position relatively quickly and hopefully get a bit of a secondary damage. And yeah, you can see this is this is somewhat of the shortcomings of this ship in... Oh, hello. 
Right, we're going to drop a few depth charges here, and I don't know, probably one there as well, just to possibly get some more hits. Ooh, I don't think we're going to be able to make any more, but I think we may be able to get hits on this Gallison out. Yep, there we go. I'm going to fire those over. A few are probably going to hit the island, but yeah, there we go. Okay, we've gotten, gotten our fourth... Oh, sorry, our third kill, actually. Okay, I, th I thought I got the submarine as well, but that does not appear to be the case. Now, I'm going to drop this just so I can hopefully spot the Bayern if they do reverse around the corner. So I'm going to go around this way, and hopefully they are they're reversing as well. But so far, I mean, 96,000 damage, that's a pretty pretty nice amount of damage, pretty average. But a pretty nice game as well, considering... Now it does appear okay. They are going forward instead, which which is okay. I mean, the, we do have the Huangai, which uh, I'm a bit cautious actually because the Huangai may take some damage. Okay, now they're smoking up. That's fine because I can imagine a buy-in is going to be able to forcibly remove a Huangai from the game pretty easily. Now, uh, where are they going to turn to? Can't quite see. Okay, they are turned towards us, which could be an issue. Okay, no, that's fine, that's fine. Now, if I get these turned here. Oh, that is a shame. Okay, so we're able to spot them, but we weren't able to fire over the island, which is quite a shame. I mean, even our secondaries aren't firing, so... But if that's the case, if I can't fire on them, then they are not going to be able to fire on us, and... This is a risky manoeuvre. I'm probably going to be... Hor well, I'm probably going to be really hurt here, so I'm going to try and turn in as best as I can without both beaching and oh here we go here we go here we go okay they are gonna fire and that's gonna hurt yep that that did really hurt but that is okay they have fired all their main guns so now i can do this there we go really four penetrations from that oh right okay we still have a rear gun active and now we've got our secondaries firing and oh right okay it does appear like we won on points which is quite nice so let's have a look. Okay, 111,000 damage, that's quite nice. Three kills, a few citadels, decent amount of target hits. Considering we weren't in close quarters proximity all that long as well, that's definitely quite nice. And third place with 1,600 base XP. Now I'm going to give our Garrison Air a compliment because they did very well, nearly 2,000 base XP, which is very impressive, but that really is game. So we'll just look at the detailed report over here. 21,006, yeah, okay, decent amount of damage on... Yeah, most of those ships, and then we've got, yeah, 211,000 credits. So, overall, I've got to say, that is a, well, that's a very nice game, that, and so far, I've really been enjoying McKenson, and I am looking forward to trying the rest of the line, but I don't believe I'm going to have enough German tokens to get the, I think it's the uh, Pintheinisch, I believe it is, so I am going to have to wait until those come out of early access, so I am going to be grinding the ship quite a lot more. But that does really bring us to the end of the episode, so if you did enjoy this video, make sure to leave a like and let me know your thoughts on my Kenton. But apart from that, I hope you have a great rest of your day, and I'll see you in the next one.